In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best gun bunch defense that I have found so far in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they could possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies in the Madden community. All right, guys, so in today's video, we're taking a look at bunch defense. Now, what we're going to do uh, to stop this incredible, incredibly powerful offense, if you were to ask me what is the hardest offense to stop in Madden 21 consistently, I would tell you year in and year out has got to be the gun bunch. The gun bunch is so incredibly effective. And so we're going to take a stab at how to stop this. Now, what we're going to be doing as I drop my controller there, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting the uh, nickel 335 Cover 4 Show 2 as our audible. Now, this is my um, quickly becoming, and it's probably been for that way for a little while, uh, my favorite defense in the entire game. You see that it's almost caught up with Mike Blitz 3. Now, the nickel 335 wide defense, if you were to ask me what is the best defense in Madden 21, I would tell you it is the 46 nickel. Uh, and that is the nickel normal, the nickel 335, but primarily the nickel 335 wide. Because the 335 wide allows you to play both zone drops and match coverage as well as phenomenal pressure and great run defense so if you want to get my full nickel 335 wide defensive guide i'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video i'm going to try to also put it in the comments section uh, below for you as well but what we want to do is we want to put our flats on 30 our curl flats on 10 and our hook curls on five yards that's going to be our kind of our starting point and we're going to audible down into that cover four show two from the three through five so we can get better personnel on the field. And basically what we're going to do, uh, real quick, I'm going to uh, shift the spot of the ball. But basically what we're going to do is we are going to essentially play cover two quarters. And the way that I like to do this from this specific um, playbook or this formation is I like to shift my defensive line to the right side of the field. I like to crash my defensive line out and I like to sit with my user over in this area right here. If they run the ball, I can shoot this gap right here, but this is kind of where I'm gonna sit with my user. The next adjustments that I'm gonna be making on this is I'm gonna almost always put my circle uh, corner here, uh, which is Jair Alexander. I'm gonna put him into a cloud flat. As you see, I'm gonna create a cover two defense on that right side of the field. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to man up the linebacker that is blitzing on the right side. In this, this case, it's going to be Redmond or the X linebacker. I'm going to man him up onto the circle wide receiver, the outside receiver in the bunch. And the reason I'm going to do that is for a play like um, plays like verticals, plays like mesh. If they try to run someone out in vertical on me, he's going to go to him very nicely. And then the, the last thing that I'm going to really do in this is I am going to take this defensive end on the right side of the screen, okay, so this guy here, Gary, I'm gonna put him into a three red hook zone. As you can see right there, he's gonna go into that little three red hook zone and play a lot of things for me underneath. Now, if you wanted to do this on the left-hand side of the field, um, there is some things that you could do differently. If you wanted to, you could essentially, um, you know, basically what you could do is you could take this guy right here and put him into a deep half zone and then you could put a ye another yellow zone on the field if you wanted to. I personally like just putting the, the quarters out here if I can get away with it. If I need to adjust, then it's going to be somewhere like this right here. And then if I see like a post right on that left side, then I will you know, kind of pay attention to that, something like a bunch trail or something like that. But if you look at this, this takes away the play flood, which is, in my opinion is the hardest play to stop in the entire game. Again, your user responsibility is really going to be that left intermediate spot. Um, that's really where you're going to kind of really make a difference. So if you'll take a look here one more time, I'm going to shift my D-line to the right. I'm going to put that three red hook zone out there or that. And the way that I do that is by hot routing the defensive end on the right side of the screen to a bluff blitz. I always pass commit. And then I'm going to do this little man coverage, essentially play cover two style defense over here on the left side. And again, on this left side, if you uh, one other thing you can do, if you don't want to play the quarter coverage, which I understand that, then you could put a cloud flat over there as well. Um, you could put a cloud flat over there. You could also, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, it, you just have to decide if you want a yellow zone or not. 
Um, if you wanted to do it, you could do something like this right here. Um, you know, you could do something like that. There's all kinds, you can do whatever you want on the left side. I'm just saying, for my money, what I have seen work most effective is just a simple, um, you know, something essentially like this right here. Uh, this right here is what really does work well for me, um, is to use that little, um, that little seam flat or curl flat. It's gonna take away a lot of curls and things like that. And then basically at the snap of the ball, you're gonna kind of, you know, sit on the running back and then you can kind of kind of play both in the middle here and take away the, the middle of the field. But this is the best way that I've developed on how to defend the gun bunch in Madden 21. And so if you want to get my full nickel 335 wide defensive guide, it shows you how to play match covers as well as zone drops, as well as main coverage, as well as have the flexibility to send um, five to seven to, to nine people sometimes. Um, and also have the ability to stop every run in the game. So if you want to get my complete nickel 335 wide defensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. You can get the full defense for just $15, best $15 you'll spend on the game the entire season. It will automatically overnight start winning you more games. So thank you for watching this video. And again, if you have any questions about the defense, you can always text me. My number is 208 218-6900. And if you want to get that full defensive guide, there's going to be a link in the description of this video.